I've got uh, all the pieces together. Let's see if I can uh, turn this into a plant stand. Immediately upon uh, inspection of the uh, three legs, it appeared that I didn't have them as lined up as I thought I had. Since these pieces were cast and not machined, there was some pretty obvious uh, differences among the three legs. I did uh, try to see if uh, there would be enough flex to maybe uh, shorten uh, one of the uh, legs. Uh, but it snapped, which is why there was a uh, line of JB Weld there in the footage. Uh, I figured when it was all said and done, I could uh, shim up the plant stand and uh, make it level enough to hold the plant uh, at least halfway level. I was uh, having some issues with finding a way to uh, keep the legs upright and the correct uh, distance and angle apart from one another. 
I decided to uh, clamp each one uh, at the base, weighted down with a uh, lead ingot so it would not uh, easily move out of uh, position. I also tried to get them as straight up and down as I could. I was hoping to keep everything as it needed to be as I moved up the plant stand. Uh, it was becoming clear that there are various degrees of straight. The hope was to get uh, each spacer into place and slather it with JB weld, but I discovered that I could only nail down one spacer at a time before trying to place the next spacer. I uh, cut out a ton of uh, footage of me uh, fumbling around trying to find a way to uh, get this to fit together the way I wanted it to uh, fit together. As uh, described in other videos, I get it stuck in my head how something should go and I stay on that path until I get completely frustrated or I uh, am able to uh, bull my way through. So I started with uh, just the bottom spacer hoping to uh, glue it into place halfway level. It's uh, here that I uh, realize that I need uh, to pay closer attention to putting the spacer back into place exactly the way I placed it before applying the JB weld.
All right, at this point, I just need to uh, do that two more times. And while it was the next day at this point, with all the fiddling around I was doing to get the middle spacer uh, into place, the legs started to move. And I did a lot of fiddling around, all of which I cut out. The previous day's JB weld uh, held well enough to uh, get the second spacer in place. So it uh, was the next day. I was with the uh, grand boys on the back porch. A uh, piece of uh, sidewalk chalk rolled under the table on the porch. I uh, grabbed it and saw how the porch table was held together. If I uh, do something like this again, I'll probably uh, tap some holes and uh, use Allen screws to hold everything together. <coughs> Finally, at the uh, top of the plant stand, putting in the final spacer, I discovered a problem. I thought about binding the legs into position, found that to be a mistake, before deciding to flip it all upside down to get this in place like I got the first one in place. Since I was uh, doing this upside down, I needed uh, something to hold the uh, spacer uh, to the correct height up off the floor. Legos seemed perfect for the job.
without uh, knowing it, I made a uh, wrong assumption here. Thinking the spacer was resting uh, nicely on the Lego support, I thought it was level. I wouldn't discover it until later, but this top spacer was not exactly where I wanted it. So I got a little distracted when I was looking for uh, my Lego bricks. With the uh, plant stand uh, assembled, I needed to decide how I was going to uh, use it as a plant stand. I originally uh, thought of something that would uh, sit on the uh, very top, maybe a thin piece of aluminum uh, cut in a circle, but I wasn't sure of the uh, diameter I wanted. My wife told me that she originally saw the spacers as shelves uh, for three uh, individual plants. It was uh, somewhere around here uh, that I started discovering uh, my need for some shims. The uh, final step in all of this was to uh, hit the entire piece with a uh, black gloss uh, enamel spray paint. After several coats of paint over a couple of days this is the uh, finished product and my uh, ultimate decision of how I was going to uh, seat a uh, plant in it. I'll uh, wrap the ivy around the plant stand as the uh, plant grows. The uh, parting shot is how this looks in my uh, classroom. Honestly I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. It really shows too how this hobby of metal casting can produce something nice beyond bars, plaques, and other such things, with just a little experience and imagination. This might be my best work yet. Thanks a whole bunch for watching. If you found this uh, video uh, entertaining, informative, or any such things like that in any way, shape, or form, please like and subscribe. Blessings.